Okay, uh, I'm going to answer a question uh, from Jane in British Columbia. She's having a hard time uh, doing the bar chord, the big, the big bar chord here. And uh, if you talk, you're thinking about doing this here, barring all of them, uh, that's not the way to do it because all you do is all you, all you need to do is fret on the second fret these two right here. And if you get in the middle between both D and D and G string like that, you might get them both. If you don't get that one right there uh, on the D string, the E note, it's because you don't have enough callus back in. You will develop callus. Okay. Okay. There it is. And don't don't do this because you can't play like this. See this here? Let the mandolin set right down in here like that. Look at here. I hope I'm showing that okay. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Yeah. And so here's what the A chord. Alright? All you do here, don't even, don't even do this with a hand at all, at all. Just move these two over here. There's a D chord, and that that if you hold your hand down right here, this right here part of the hand will mute the E string. And then we go down to E. E chord is barring these two middle ones right here on the second fret. And noting that one there, and don't feel like you have to go with the tips of your fingers. Just flatten this one down over both of them so you can get that note. Then you have this one. Okay, there's your E chord. If you ring the open one, doesn't matter because it's an E note. Now, watch my hand, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just sliding around. Okay? You want to play something? I didn't do anything I didn't do anything like that. You should never do that with the wrist. Okay?